Okay, so continuing with our history series of sport, we're looking at the history of Ipswich Town Football Club. Uh, they actually are older than the Football League itself, which was obviously founded in 1888. They were founded in 1878, but they don't turn professional until 1936, which I find a bit surprising. And they joined the EFL, the Football League, in 1938. So two years after becoming a professional football club, they're in the Football League. They, they apply to join and the Football League accepts them. Now, their home ground is Portman Road, uh, which has a current capacity of 30,311 as of last season's capacity. Now, that will vary from year to year. Uh, and currently, as of recording this video, they currently are in League One, which is the third tier of English football, the old, what would have been the, the old Division Three prior to 1992. And uh, they finished 11th in League One last season in the 2021-2022 season. Now, obviously, World War two breaks out in 1939 so they only have one season in the football league before war breaks out but it's not on long after the second world war in reality that they become league champions and then they have a very good side in the 70s and the 80s so their first and only league title to date is in the 1961-62 season they win uh, the league title and then there's a bit of a gap between trophies but there's the old texaco cup which was a, a, a top flight uh, trophy for those teams in England, uh, Scotland and Ireland that did not qualify for Europe. Uh, the top flight teams in Scotland and England and Northern Ireland could play for the Texaco Cup. So it's sort of like the EFL trophy kind of thing where you it's a parallel competition to the League Cup and FA Cup. It's another cup competition for those play, uh, teams that aren't in there. And they win that in 1972-73. Their only FA Cup win to date uh, is in 1977-78. They win the FA Cup. And then a few years later, their finest triumph, their finest hour, is winning the UEFA Cup in 1980-81 season. So they've only ever won four major trophies in their entire history, which is, is not a lot, but still more than some. And they have got a European trophy in there, which is very, very hard to do. And very few sides actually have a European trophy in their trophy cabinet. Now, they don't win the Super Cup. They haven't won the European Cup Champions League. They've won the old UEFA Cup, which is now the Europa League, uh, many, many years ago, 40 one years ago they lifted that trophy now very successful side and a very good side at that time but at the time they're at the top of english football liverpool are at the top of english football everton are up there nottingham forest are up there and so are aston villa it's a very congested competitive uh, league and, and cups that they're fighting for but they've never won the league cup which i find very interesting as well so while they've won the league and they won the FA Cup, they're missing out on the League Cup. So the domestic honours that are still playable for at the top level, the one they're missing is the League Cup. Now, they have played in the Premier League, albeit not for very long, um, for a couple of seasons, which I'll get to when it comes to their record transfer. Now, their record appearances is held by Mick Mills uh, between 1966 and 1982. So he was uh, a UEFA Cup winner. He was an FA Cup winner. And that's 732 appearances in all competitions for the club. Uh, their top goal scorer, who has also uh, wins the Division 1 title with them, is Ray Crawford with 278 uh, over two spells between 1958-63 and 1965-68 in 354 appearances. Now, their transfers, their record transfer paid was during their little Premier League, um, uh, their latest stint in the Premier League over 20-odd years ago, uh, was paid uh, was 4.75 million. They paid to Sampdoria for Matteo Serrini in 2001. And the biggest transfer fee they have received is 12 million. 11 years ago for Connor Wickham from Sunderland. Shows how badly Sunderland were throwing money around. So that's their transfers. Now we get to the fun facts about Ipswich Town. Now they're called the Tractor Boys, uh, which is their nickname. The club has competed in all three major European competitions, and I'm including the Cup Winners' Cup in here, which is now defunct, but at the time was obviously the third major European competition. They competed in the uh, European Cup by virtue of winning the old Division 1 in 1961-62. But here's the other fun stat. They have never lost a European game at home. So in all the times they played in European competition, they've never lost a European game at home. They have defeated Real Madrid, AC Milan, Inter Milan, Lazio and Barcelona during that period. Um, another fun fact, they're the only pro football team, the only professional football team in Suffolk. They're one of only two professional football teams classed in East Anglia, the, the other being their biggest rivals, where they uh, battle the East Anglian derby against Norwich City. That game has been played 148 times. So there we go. 
there is the history, uh, a brief history of Ipswich Town Football Club. I haven't put in their biggest win, their biggest loss, their record attendance, because I was more interested in some of the fun facts, really. And, and the fact that they actually have won a European trophy and, and an FA Cup and a Division One title. But they haven't won a League Cup, which I find really, really unique. They win a Texaco Cup, a defunct competition from the 70s. So they've got four major trophies to their name, if you count the Texaco Cup. And they were a pretty decent side in the 60s, 70s and 80s. In more recent times, success has been harder to come by. But the other fun fact is they've never lost a European game at home. So there we go. Thank you very, very much. That's a brief history of Ipswich Town Football Club and there'll be more history videos to follow very, very soon. Please leave a comment section, a comment in the comment section below and if you give us a like and a subscribe, that have got a long, long way. But for now, thank you very much from me and I'll have some more videos for you very, very soon.